Hey, what's up, everybody? It is November 27, 2019. Big Bear Lake, California. It's 8.30 p.m., just about. Um, we are headed to the other side of town for a little work. Do you know what I mean? Oh, man. My windshield wiper flu is frozen. That's a bummer, man. So I'm gonna have to defrost the windshield so we can see. How you guys doing tonight? Oh man, we hardly got any snow compared to what we were supposed to get, but as I say, par for the course. Such an over-exaggeration, but hopefully tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow we'll work out a little better. At my house, we got about four inches and uh, over by the dam they got about five or six inches and Baldwin got about I don't know an inch maybe maybe that much I don't know it wasn't that much yeah so hope you guys are good hope you guys are getting ready for turkey day a good Thanksgiving tomorrow I got a video uploading right now. It should be done by the time I'm done with this uh, little bit of work here. So, and then this one will be uploading after that. But since I'm doing it straight from the phone, for some reason it uploads like twice as fast. So it'll probably be uploaded from just a minute or two after the last one. And you guys will be like, dude, what the hell? I don't want to annoy you guys, but I want you guys to get all the up-to-date information. And I mean, yeah. And it's really important that you guys understand, man, these tires have been absolutely insanely good. I did, it's just amazing. They are just incredible. I haven't had any slippage, nothing. I, it's amazing. And there aren't any metal studs on the tires or anything like that. side of town so I thought we'd get a good little video in of a night drive and then uh, maybe this guy will I don't know maybe what maybe pass or something but you don't really get much of that up here it's all about uh, and I know it seems like it's all about you know me being selfish too because I want to get around him and I want to get to where I want to go first you know but I mean dude it's just the law of the land it's just you know going slower than the traffic behind you even if the traffic behind you is a jerk like me <laughs> you, you still by law isn't that the weirdest law I I did not believe it until I actually you know really looked into it if you're going like 90 miles an hour on a two-lane highway and there's a car on your butt um, you, you can be ticketed for not pulling over and letting him pass you can you believe that yeah, interesting, huh? So, I know that doesn't make any sense, it didn't, but it kind of does. I don't know, never mind. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. I do know I love Big Bear, though. Is this guy on a motorcycle? Or tell me, tell me that's, okay, that's one headlight. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Man, I want to get the brights on. This guy's, these guys in front of me are killing me. How slow they're going. So if this light turns red up here, we're going to get in the left turn lane and then just go straight. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm a rebel. I am a rebel. Watch out, guys. This guy over here is crazy. He's going to get in the left turn lane and go straight. Woo. I don't think I am, though. I don't think I'm going to make it. I don't think I'm going to make it. Nope. Then not gonna make it. Barnyard. Okay. 
my friend over here a nice little honking. Oh, there's a bunch of people out. It's gonna scare the crap out of them. I'm not trying to do that, but. <laughs> my friend works there. So I'm just saying hello. I'm probably gonna get a text from him right now saying, dude, you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Stabilization. All right. All right, you guys. Yeah, all right. All right. In the middle of the street, our house. <laughs> These turns right here can be pretty rough, you guys. This is, I, I think it's called Coffin Corner or Dead Man's Curve or something like that. Thank you. Sorry guys, I know I'm, I probably, yeah. I know I'm being too impatient, I know I am. another video tomorrow morning so you guys can get a fresh view of what everything looks like after today's snowfall while it starts snowing tomorrow what it's like driving at night here you guys right now during all the snow <coughs> and then obviously there's this long trek of traffic on the other side because of a driver like the one right up here who just doesn't care about anybody behind him I mean, seriously, there's, I, well, I mean, not in, not, not in town, there aren't signs saying pull out, you know, but everywhere else there are. Sound, that's what you think, right? The first whoop, whoop. Oops, sorry, buddy. I sorry, I didn't see you. Well, if you're gonna pull out, pull out. I'm telling you, these tires are amazing. Like, I just almost slammed on my brakes and I, <laughs> I barely even moved. It's unbelievable. I'm really happy with them.
no lanes, nothing. Twenty six degrees. Not too bad. I think that's supposed to be like our high temperature tomorrow. So I hope this storm actually gives us something tomorrow because this was weak. But if you look, I mean, the Big Bear snow rule, guys, the further we go this way, the less and less snow we get. So this is the place we haven't been on these videos in a little bit. So that's pretty cool. Fort Wayne, Big Bear City, California. Did you say two, one, zero, one, four, Floyd Deep Run, North Carolina? No. type it in. Let's see here. This is crud here. Okay, so we're on Highway 38, you guys. There's no one behind us, and there's no one in front of us, so that's good. In one half mile, turn left on State Lane. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna be so uptight. In one half mile, turn left on State Lane. Hey, why don't you say please? Ah! Huh? You gotta talk to me like that. Gosh, it's so early and there's just nobody out. It feels late though because there's nobody out. And he wanted me to honk the horn when I was about a half mile away, so I'm about a half mile away. that one my phone's gonna be blowing up in just a moment from everybody dude i'll be like hey guys it's not even nine o'clock yet take it easy it's not like it was in front of your house turn left on lakewood drive then turn right so this is Irwin. Irwin Lake. Turn left on Lakewood Drive, then turn right. Okay, and then for the privacy of this person, I'm gonna have to shut this down for a moment. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Seriously, I've got some serious issues. Um, you guys don't have to agree with that though, please. You can just say, gosh, don't talk about yourself like that. Alright. Camera off. Peace out. All right. Well, that was, that was good. That was quick. Kind of.
I'm really considering taking Moonloaf right now, but we're gonna wait. I don't hardly have any gas left, look, and we'll probably get stuck up there somehow. But I'm willing to take that risk soon. It's not the night since my mom's here. And if I was gonna be taking any crazy risks, I'd be driving to Lake Arrowhead right now to pick up my friend and his mom. They got in a car accident tonight driving up the mountain. And he called me asking um, for a ride from the hospital in Lake Arrowhead back here, but there's just no way I can get all the way down there and back up. It's just too freaking risky. Like, since, since they're both totally okay, you know, it's just too freaking risky. Their car was total, I guess. Just such a bummer, man. trouble driving in town because for the most part it's pretty flat but it's when going up and down the mountain roads that's when it gets really extra treacherous obviously and like right here there's a big ditch right here to the right if you slide right here you're <laughs> I mean it's not a fun little ditch right there I've actually seen a car in there
wasn't up here tonight, I'd, I'd go do this for them. I would risk everything and go do it. But I never get to see my mom. And the fact that it's just such a dangerous drive. And they're okay. I just can't even do it. I just can't. You can tell I'm struggling with, with my decision here, but, you know. Wouldn't make sense for two cars to get totaled and three of us in the hospital. <laughs> find a way home. If I have to pay for them to get a taxi or something, whatever. But I can't go down there. And not like I would have to pay, but, you know, worst case. I wouldn't mind. Probably be like a hundred dollar tab, but small price to pay, you know, for them ruining their dang car. The whole car is done. They can't drive their car anymore. So, I mean, like, that's a hundred bucks to me when it comes to something like that, you know? But that's just, if they need it, I'm, I put a, a post on Facebook. I put a post on Facebook <laughs> and uh, we're gonna see if any if we get any bites. Just if anybody's driving up the mountain and, and would like to stop by Arrowhead Regional Hospital and pick up my good friend Noah and his mom. Um, they're both my good friends and they are wonderful people, just beautiful people, nothing shady about them, just nice, nice people from my hood in Orange County also. So we really hit it off and yeah, they're just great people. Um, they wouldn't do anything shady or nothing like that. You would have nothing to worry about. Um, I would take full responsibility. If anyone did, you know, on their way up, stop by and at Arrowhead Hospital and wherever the heck it is in Arrowhead or Crestline and pick them up, bring them up here bring them back home that'd be great only if you're in the area I mean I don't, I don't want anyone to go too out of their way but if you're in the area that'd be cool that would be cool you'd be really helping some people out big time so because I know they don't want to be stuck down there it's Thanksgiving time they don't want to be in a hospital so anyway so I don't have to deal with it in the heavy snow tomorrow. I think that's what I'll do. Because we really are low. white snow that is just so cool looking just so cool looking I just want to gun it but I, I would never do that I would never do this never say never putting my life in jeopardy is one thing putting other people's life in jeopardy how dare I so I won't do it I'm telling you what though guys I really uh, wish I could be riding my motorcycle right now that thing, like, I just want to be like a hell's angel now. <laughs> I can't tell you how many of these videos I've been watching on motorcycle clubs and stuff like that and how to join. Obviously, I'm not going to join all the things that I've learned, like what they're really about and stuff. But um, the camaraderie seemed beautiful, you know, it seemed wonderful. And just that they got your back for for anything. And, you know, um, you, you just you never let a brother hit the ground type thing. Um, but apparently these people like go to jail for each other and die for each other. And then when they go to jail, no one's there for them. And then they see the, the brotherhood's fake. And so, um, I wouldn't want to be a part of a group that goes to jail and murders and stuff like, like that. But I want to be a part of that camaraderie and riding a Harley with all, all these other dudes and just the all that testosterone, man. That it's 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 just, man. 
what a lifestyle what a lifestyle that is just who cares right you know just the who cares the who gives a damn lifestyle um, do what you want I like that but the part that I don't like is how a lot of them try to you know intimidate and stuff like that I, I mean I, I don't I don't I don't get it I don't get it I, I understand sticking up for your boys and stuff but um, yeah what do you guys think about motorcycle clubs like the Vagos Hell's Angels groups like that snow summit you guys wow let me zoom in real quick wow that is beautiful that's snow summit guys with a little a little a hair piece on top <laughs> snow summit's got some balding issues i'm not only a member i'm a i'm not, I'm not only the owner i'm a client Sorry guys, please don't think I'm a total tool because of how I'm really irritated right now driving on, but yeah, it, it is irritating. It's like a snow night out. It's like a snow night out. Thank you. Now get the out the way. I didn't curse. I did not curse. I did not curse. <laughs> I am such a weirdo. I am such a weirdo, but I'm a weirdo who gets to play in the snow, so that's pretty cool. Maybe that just makes me weirder. I don't know. Anyway, we're pulling into 7-Eleven. We'll get them guys will leave my friend. I love you guys. This is going to be it for this video. And if we get any other weather tonight, I will document it. Peace out.